how is it that cooked meat has uh, such a detrimental effect on cats, seeing that um, cooking meat barely affects the nutritional status? Well, cats are different. They don't have certain enzymes. Our hominins acquire the enzymes. Cooked meat doesn't isn't very good also for um, for chimps. So chimps, as you know, you've you've seen my docos um, on the chimps, and they can consume a lot of raw meat, but they don't cook their meat, and they never will unless they evolve beyond that point. Humans, on the other hand, or hominins, one. 0.5 million years ago, that was before Homo sapiens existed, which is 350,000 odd years ago. So pretty much we've got the genetics, the enzymatic um, structures or the enzymes that are required to deal with cooked meat and stuff like that. And we denature our meat completely in our very acidic stomach. So we absorb things in a very radically different way than other animals do okay this is why other animals like birds can also eat cooked meat they also can cook um you know putrid meats because they also have very low ph of 1.5 or lower which is what we have a child has less than heart less than one so we're able to manage those and a lot of people say oh you know you're denaturing the proteins well in a very acidic stomach you denature every fucking protein so that is why there are special enzymes that can refold things properly after when they get absorbed so your stomach denatures things whether it's raw cooked or whatever and then all these enzymes actually restructure it again that's why they're there to basically these little machines to do their job so we don't have that problem and we can extract more both you know more new, in terms of nutrition and stuff like that i'm not against raw meat because i actually consume raw meat myself cured raw meats and raw meats so you know unlike a number of other carnivores that will find it disgusting i also um eat um foods that are basically fermented as well but that's me you know, I've grown up in a culture that ferments a number of things and has done that for thousands of years. The Greeks have got a lot of fermented dishes when it comes to these sort of things. It's not only in the dairy world, which we've got a lot of fermented stuff that some people would find very unappetizing, but also a number of other things that, uh, you know, let alone we've got snail dishes, we've got all sorts of things. You think the French are into snails, so are we, and a lot of other things. So, um, yeah, so basically our... Uh, uh, we as have that capacity cats don't you know cats like tigers lions and all the other cat family they basically eat raw meat directly um from the animal they kill it they eat it and so cooked basically um they can't manage it in their body we don't really know well beyond pottinger's cats which we know that cooked meat isn't good for cats we don't know enough what are the enzymatic processes or what are the biochemical processes that are happening in the cat that create those problems? So maybe they don't have the capacity well enough to deal with denatured proteins. Maybe they don't have the capacity well enough to, de to deal with advanced glycation in products. Maybe they don't have enough to deal with a number of things. The problem is, you know, I know I've probably just cats, but I haven't really looked into cat research to be able to really tell you why, you know. And when I did take a bit of a, let's say, an, a look out of interest, I didn't really find much. Beyond Pottinger's cats and that research, most of the other research is all about drugs for cats and dogs and, you know, and, uh, and a lot of meal preparations and things like that. It's just nonsense, modern day shit, you know. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got, you know, in terms of the science, um, in terms of the position on that. There's not much else, unfortunately. <laughs>